Although this is a Marioka walking map, it has in the red the route of the loop bus, which will take me around the city to get an overview. It's 120 yen each time you get off the bus or you can get a day ticket. It provides information. You can see the modern structures of the town. The innermost these buildings. Marioka to Iwaki Prefecture. stop on Honcho Dori Ichome. You can walk a bit further north and see a few temples and shrines. Petals. One can clearly not call these petals. Rubbish. It's beautiful. Six Jizo Temple. Memories. People come to pay respects and to wash the graves. Behind this temple is the shrine that's very famous. So you're walking that's back looking at the direction from the station. And this is a large shrine temple complex. So this is the shrine. It's a small sign to show how to walk. So the shrine entrance is just walking around this concrete halved road. There's a fence into this entrance. So the entrance is here. It's a large graveyard. There's also a car park in the shrine building. It's all famous trees. been pruned so well once they decided on there. Size. So large. Traditional building. The entrance is to the right. 
parking back at Marioka City. The shrine is actually at the back of the temple. Very large holy stones. This whole area is probably holy. This tree is also marked. These are giant stones have been lifted by crane. You can check the vowels. The door itself is shut. That's the back of the temple. Sushi. Three rocks and the demon's hands prints. A demon called Ratsu used to live in this area. And so he scared people. So they danced. And scared away the devil. At different points you can get this uh, Den Den Mushi Basu. We'll take you around. This is the route I showed before. I got off from the uh, temple, Mitsushi. Now I'm going this way. There's Denden bus. This is coming up to Tomiyohashi. There is a little stop. The next stop is Tomiyohashi. You see the river going through the center of Marioka. You want to take back. It's a famous red, red brick field. This is at the bus center stop. This is a national heritage building. The next stop is Kensho Shiva. You can see the red brick building. It's a very famous building. Marioka Castle has gone, but the fortress walls remain, and they're all on their own very impressive. The height of these walls this looks like an apple blossom. The cherry blossoms and on the castle park see large trees as well you can walk on top and also below the ground 
the petals remain. These flowers get to come out. Looks like they're doing some repairs on the castle. On the other side of the castle is the city museum. The azaleas are often mixed to bring out different colours. A small pond adorns what remains of the moat of the castle. It's a large petaled rhododendron. The castle park is an entrance. Site Morioka Castle Iwate Park started in 1597 as a national monument for a long time. 1937 declared as a national monument. You can see the map in 1766, the different gates of the castle and the map as it is now. The old and the young are together. The entrance is always on an angle, partly to give a slope, but also for protection. And inside the grounds, you see a very large expanse. Stones look nicely cut to fit into each other. Basically, nothing will move it except perhaps an earthquake if it was badly designed. Looking out over the city, this is a monument to Takupoku. Marioka, the famous poet. Trees. It's cold. They have snow for many months of the year. But in the summer and spring, quite very pleasant. You can see a small bridge between the monuments. Really a large park area, but 
of all the parts of the castle were really great monuments. What well, looks like it should have had an iron statue on top. So let's see the exclamation and the photograph of what happened to it. The horse is gone. It's probably melted down during World War II. Like many statues, it hasn't been replaced. Going down from the highest point. The Fuji or Wisteria is still to come out in the northern prefectures. You see the lovely park around the city. Weeds growing, stones to sit on. It's a nice central park, place for fresh air. Some smell of wisteria it must be wonderful when it comes out. This is a long surviving wisteria vine. Walking down from the castle into the park see the pond also with some remains of cherry blossoms and some cherry blossoms still to come small and beautiful alcove I have irises also yet to come the garden is everywhere in Japan the love of nature is one of the explicit features. People can sit in the park and enjoy nature. They can walk along the side of a river. Get some fresh air. You can see the remains of cherries still on the ground. And the cherry blossoms along the river are still beautiful. They have not lost all their petals yet. Let's have a look. It's really beautiful. The water is flowing quite swiftly down the river. various flowers arranged. This is called Victoria Road. There's certainly a nice road and path for people to enjoy. There's a couple of Salmon sculptures. Momichi and Sakura. This is the city museum, just on the side of the castle. See you there flowers and the tulips are out providing a nice backdrop for the museum. In the first floor there are some free exhibit spaces. You can see the Chaga Shagu festival dressed in horses and clothes. The horse has a lot of ornaments Really beautiful. There's an 
explanation. You can watch. Morioka is famous for its festivals and temples. You can see so many people. Float exhibition. They are pushed. And they're really tall. Floats. So this is inside the Marioka History Museum. Some beautiful scrolls, beautiful paintings. You can see the appreciation of nature over time. There's a wonderful set of scrolls. Iwate landscapes have been appreciated for a long time. A lot of calligraphy. It would be really lovely to be able to understand the art at least we can see. History and culture. You can see very beautifully painted, nicely designed. Part of the culture of Morioka and his history, his foundation. This extends over a long time, 1860. Showing the festivals that established a, boat, a bridge across the river history of a castle town it's a moving story <laughs> They're showing the festival at a time. What the castle used to look like next to the river. In 74. Still, some had been destroyed before then. Some of the founding statutes of the castle and the battalion. Of 
subjects of the Nabu clan. Oh my gosh, it's in writings. So we covered not only in Almory but also in Iwate. Beautiful frames. In those castle rooms, one could have divided the door room through these screens. martial arts and training, but they also indulged in cultural pursuits such as Mo and the way of tea. It's also quite an interesting layout for people, for videos and explanations. Be comfortable. temple bell in a temple just on the other side of the castle moat in the temple so the bus is train station Marioka very beautiful display tulips spring and it's platform 14 and 15 which is for this uh, revolving uh, bus on the other side of the station is uh, quite a different environment there's some buses sightseeing buses to like to water building it's a view of the Sendai Stadium Okay. The end of the city. See the countryside of Iwate. Oh, the Shinkansen. 